All right, again, welcome into another edition of the Making Tech Talk video blog. As you can see, I'm right here in front of Howard's Rock, right here at Clemson, uh, at Clemson's Memorial Stadium, where the Tigers just beat Georgia Tech earlier today, 27 to 13. Not a good day to be a Yellow Jacket fan for you guys who are watching this from Atlanta. Not at all. But uh, hey, it was one of those days where Clemson just came out and, and played with that chip on its shoulder. Of course, uh, defensive end Daquan Bauer said after the game that he had that the whole team had this chip on its shoulder after that ACC championship loss, and they just wanted to come out and prove to Georgia Tech that they were a good team last year and they're a good team this year. They sure enough did that. The offensive and defensive lines for Clemson were, were strong, physical. They pushed the players around. In fact, after the, uh, the ball game, there in the post game, you had a couple of players, a couple of Georgia Tech players who walked in with ice packs on their hands and legs. You know, you had a couple of players who had bruises and, and marks all over their faces. So it was definitely a physical game, a hard-fought game, an intense game, an emotional game. And that's what Clemson Georgia Tech is all about. It's all about that intensity, that emotion, that rivalry, that passion. And uh, we'll see what they can do in a couple of years or the next time they do play, which of course would be next year. But who knows, they could play again this year. It happened last year after all. Uh, let's just talk real quickly about some of the things we saw. Joshua Nesbitt, of course, had a chance to surpass Woody Dantzler, former Clemson quarterback Woody Dantzler, uh, on the all-time ACC quarterbacks rushing list. Didn't happen today. Nesbitt only had two yards. He needed 44. You would have thought that he could have gotten 44, but he only had two today. That was Clemson's game plan, was to stop him, to crash him on the inside, and they really did a great job of taking out the outside. And, uh, you know, it was very difficult for the Yellow Jackets to get going on the perimeter pitch game as well. Uh, the passing game was a little bit of an issue. You had a couple of drops. Uh, Stephen Hill dropped one there in the end zone early on in the ball game. That kind of cost the Yellow Jackets. You also had a couple of other things that just went that, that just didn't go their way. You had a fumble that they caused there on a, on a kickoff during what seemed to be a hopeful comeback. They couldn't fall on it. Clemson recovered the fumble, stayed with the ball, continued to, to march on. There was another play early on in the game, first drive of the game, in fact, where the Yellow Jackets actually had Clemson stopped a three and out, and yet on the punt, uh, on the punt return, a roughing the pass, or excuse me, a roughing the punter penalty was called, and uh, you know obviously that hurt the Yellow Jackets. The uh, Tigers were able to score on the very next play, a 55-yard touchdown run for Andre Ellington. So just not a day at all where the Yellow Jackets felt comfortable. They're going to have to forget about today, move on. They've got the bye week coming up here now. Clemson's all over and done with. It's all about Virginia Tech, and they're going to be at Virginia Tech, of course, in two weeks. So yet again, this place was loud, 77,000 strong in here today. It was hostile. You'd imagine Lane Stadium in Blacksburg is going to be just the same. All right, thanks again. That's all we've got for today. Continue to stop by Macon.com, where we'll have more uh, throughout the rest of the week and uh, leading up to the Virginia Tech game. Thanks again. We'll see you later.